hello good morning welcome back to another vlog new nail color what do we think this vlog's just gonna be a couple days in my life because last week i was planning on vlogging and getting a whole bunch of stuff done and then i was literally just in bed fighting off something the entire week it was really rough i never actually ended up getting sick i just felt so exhausted and my glands were super super swollen i just like had no energy and literally all i could do was just lay in bed and drink a bunch of fluids i don't know what it was but my body won thank the lord and i'm feeling a lot better now but it just kind of sucks because i have a lot of stuff coming up this next month and I have like a lot of work that I wanted to get caught up on and things around the apartment and it sucks because I feel like I had an entire week that kind of like went to waste but we're gonna make up for it this week. My friend Julia is coming to visit Friday night. She's staying with me for the weekend. I am so excited. And then I'm gonna be going home for a few weeks to visit my family and to celebrate my 30th birthday. And then I think the week after I get back here, my parents are coming down and visiting me for a week so it's going to be a lot of go 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 i'm seeing a lot of people which i'm really excited about but i'm not going to have a lot of like time to myself to like get work done so i want to pre-record some videos make sure my apartment is like nice and clean and just you know all of my to do's are taken care of as far as what we have on the agenda for today i am meeting up with my friend Haley later this afternoon she asked if i could touch up her highlights so we're gonna be doing her hair and we're also gonna do a little bit of shopping maybe i'll get a birthday outfit but before we get started with our day i want to say thank you to babel for sponsoring this portion of the vlog babel is a language learning app they use award-winning technology proven to get you speaking a foreign language in just three weeks babel teaches real world practical conversations conversations and they teach more than just vocab. You'll learn about that language's culture, people, history, and more. I actually took many years of French. I started French when I was in seventh grade and then I took it up until my sophomore or junior year of college. A lot of French. But even still, after all those years of it, I still am not fluent at all whatsoever. I feel like I know a good amount of vocab and if I'm reading French, I can translate it pretty easily. If I hear it, I can kind of get the gist of the conversation, but I could not hold a conversation myself to save my life. I mean, maybe at like an elementary school level, kind of, but even that is a little rough. <laughs> so I wanted to try out Babbel so that I could improve my French and hopefully maybe eventually become fluent in it. With summer travel coming up, it's perfect because Babbel offers short 10 minute on the go sessions. I've been trying to spend as much time as possible outside, so I love that I can just bring my phone with me, do a quick Babbel lesson, whether I'm sitting by the pool, at the beach, or just like out on my balcony. Manger gras. Manger équilibré. Manger équilibré. And especially, like I said, I have all these plans coming up. I'm going to be doing a lot of traveling and being all over the place. So it's nice that I can still do my lessons, keep up with them, but it's not going to take out a huge portion of my day. So if you want to try out Babbel for yourself, check the description box and click my link to get 65% off of your subscription to Babbel. Thank you so much, Babbel, for sponsoring this portion of the vlog. I actually already did my little 10-minute lesson this morning while I had my coffee on the balcony. So let's go get ready and get our day started okay actually before i get ready i'm gonna have some breakfast i made a little egg tomato and cheese scramble with some turkey pepperoni on the side for some extra protein and then i roasted up some potatoes in the air fryer and i just seasoned them with a bunch of stuff salt pepper cayenne pepper italian seasoning garlic powder onion powder so delicious here's my little OOTD I have this midi bodycon cotton dress on actually the entire outfit literally head to toe is H&M <laughs> funny enough sweatshirt I just tied it up and kind of tucked it in a little bit so it would fit more cropped and combat boots 
like I said, everything from H&M. It has felt like straight up summer for weeks now. It's been reaching up to 90 degrees, it's been humid, sunny, so nice. And I don't know, yesterday the temperature just dropped out of nowhere and now the high I think is supposed to be like 70. Still not terrible, but definitely a little bit on the chillier side compared to what I'm becoming used to now and what we've had recently. I'm just gonna grab some supplies to do Haley's hair with. Um, we're gonna go to the beauty supply store to actually get the product that we need because I don't have the right toner and all of that. But I'm gonna bring obviously like my measuring cup, foiling comb, color brush, cape, shears, because I'm pretty sure she wants to trim her bangs, whisk, color bottle, and color bowl, of course. I think that's everything. I am bringing Benny because her dog Xena is his absolute best friend in the whole world, his girlfriend, love of his life. So. We're gonna let them have a little play date and hang out while we spend the day together. And I think she said she wants to do some shopping too. She actually has a bachelorette party coming up later this week. So I think there's a couple more things that she wants to look for. All right, <laughs> let's head out. real quick okay hello I'm home obviously I want to show you the stuff that I got while we were out today actually you already saw most of it because I filmed clips in the fitting room while I was trying everything on but how beautiful is this hot pink dress I got it from Express and it was in the clearance section it was marked down and then it was an extra 50% off on top of that so I got this for 40 bucks so I think this might be my birthday dress. And then I also got these dress pants from Express. These were also in the clearance section. I think they're just gonna look so cute. I'm imagining wearing them with a little crop top um, or maybe like a little sports bra kind of situation with a jacket. I love having dressier pieces like this and then dressing them down with more casual pieces. And then, oh my God, these shoes. I was really on the fence about them because I was like, where the hell am I gonna wear these, first of all? 
especially because like the heel is so high they're actually really comfortable to walk in and like easy to walk in but i know after an hour my feet are gonna absolutely be killing me so i kind of would need to wear these somewhere where i'm gonna be sitting most of the night but they are just too stunning to turn down like look at all of the details i love the chain on the side and they just look so good on. I wish that I was getting married sometime soon because I feel like these would be such badass wedding shoes. But yeah, they're by Steve Madden and the style name is Veronica. Veronica Clear. And I had to size up a little bit because they kind of run small. They fit a little bit tight. You know when you see something in a store and you just like can't put it down. You just like keep coming back to it and you keep thinking about it and you're like trying to justify it in your head and you're like, uh, I don't know, is it worth it? Should I get this? Like how often am I actually gonna wear it? But I just felt like if I left the store right now without these, I definitely would be thinking about them and I would wanna go back for them. And I think I would regret not getting them. So I figured I'll get them, I'll try them on some more at home and like sleep on it and then see and I can always take them back. I have 30 days to return them as long as I don't wear them out anywhere. And then we also went to Ulta, that was actually the first place we went to. This is just a regular NYX lip pencil in the shade Natural. It looks very close to my natural lip shade which I really like the look of on like a no makeup day or a really light natural makeup day. And then I saw this NYX This Is Juice Gloss electrolyte infused color um it has like the tiniest little bit of tint to it but it just looks so juicy and super super glossy so i thought again on like a no makeup day light makeup day i could overline ever so slightly with this lip liner and then put this gloss on top and i just thought they would look so good and then i've kind of been in the mood to get a new blush. I didn't really need this, but this is the NYX Sweet Cheeks Matte Blush in the shade Daydream. It's a creamy powder blush, and I don't know. It just looked really pretty. That's what it looks like. It's a really nice peachy blush, which right now I don't have. I have like a really light pink shade, and then I have like a more hot pink color, but I really like the peachy tones, especially in the summer with a tan. And then I got the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation because I've been seeing Taylor Wynn rave about this a lot lately. She said that it's really, really blurring and it makes her skin look very airbrushed. And she uses this on top of liquid foundation, just kind of like presses it in to set her makeup. And she said it completely blurs all of her pores and any texture. Ooh. Okay, hold on. My hand, some texture on it. Can you even tell? Oh my God, in person, it's like, oh my God. But I don't know if you can really tell on the camera, like where I put the powder here. Oh my God, it just made it look so smooth. And it like, all with the little texture. Just like filled it right in. Ooh, okay, that is nice, I'm gonna like that. I got it in the shade Light 240W. Tomorrow, Haley and I are going out again. We didn't end up having enough time to get to all the shopping that we wanted to, because by the time I met up with her, it was already like around one o'clock, and then we needed to get back so I could do her hair, which, by the way, I know I didn't really get many clips of that. By the time we started it, I was starting to feel kind of tired, and I just was like, I just want to get this over with. I wasn't worried about like pulling out the camera and getting a bunch of clips, so sorry about that, um, but I'll show you tomorrow what it looks like, because we're going to hang out again tomorrow once it's dry um, so you can see the color. We didn't really do anything different though. I basically just brought her highlights up a little bit higher but still like kept her dark root and everything the same. Um, just brightened it up a little bit more like around her face and then I shortened her face frame pieces a little bit and just like refreshed her layers, did a little trim, all of that. But yeah, I, we wanted to get back so that I would have time to do her hair because her hair's so thick. She's so much, it's so long. So it always takes like at least three hours start to finish between bleaching, toning, cutting, everything. So yeah, we didn't end up having enough time to get to all of the stores that we wanted to. So tomorrow we are gonna go back out again and 
continue our shopping spree and I will probably do a little bit of some light makeup just so I can try out these new products. So we can try everything out together in the morning. I'm gonna go put this stuff away though and get ready for bed because it's already uh, almost 10.30. I'm quite tired. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. I'm gonna get ready and try the new products that I got yesterday. For my base, I'm gonna mix the Super Goop Glow Screen Sunscreen with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. Just to give a little bit of coverage, but I still just want it to look like my skin. Then I'm gonna put some of the Tarte CC Under Eye Correcting Concealer under my eyes. And then just for a little more coverage, I'm just gonna put a couple dots of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And then I'm gonna set my T-zone area with that new e.l.f. powder. Then I'm doing a little bit of Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And then we're gonna do the new NYX Sweet Cheeks Blush. Ooh, this is pigmented. Benefit Gimme Brow. Just running a little bit of that through my brows. And then for lips, my new lip liner. This is NYX in the shade Natural. I'm going to put a little bit of this juicy gloss on top. Oh, so pretty. So there's how my makeup looks. I like it. It's nice and light. Really like this lip combo a lot. I will link all the products that I just used in the description. Um, I'm going to make an iced coffee. We're going to do some vanilla medium roast Starbucks. And I just do plain half and half. That coffee already is a little bit sweet, so I don't like to overdo it. Let me see what the weather is supposed to be like today. Oh, pretty much the same as yesterday. The high is supposed to be 72. I think I'm going to wear those new pants that I got yesterday. And hmm, I don't know what shirt I want to do. Some kind of crop top. Thinking maybe this blue one. This little top from American Eagle. Here's the outfit I'm gonna wear. So those new pants that I showed you from Express. How freaking cute. I just love the fit of them. How the legs kind of like flare out a little bit. I feel like they're just so flattering. Look how good my butt looks. Oh my god. This is your sign. Go out right now and get yourself some dress pants. If you don't already have some, you need them. Crop top like I showed you is from American Eagle. And I threw on this snake chain necklace from Vibe Season. Adidas baseball hat and then I'm think I'm just gonna wear these Adidas sneakers
that makeup didn't really hold up so well. I'm looking a little crusty busty. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, from a distance, it still looks pretty good, but whatever, it's fine. I still really loved that lip combo, though, but I am now home for the day. want to show you a little haul again of more stuff that I got. It was such a good day, though, and I'm glad that we were able to hang out because I don't know when's the next time I'm going to see her because, like I said, she's going away for a trip, and then by the time she gets back, I'm going to be leaving shortly thereafter and i'm gonna be gone for like at least two weeks so yeah it's gonna be a while um so it was nice to just get to spend time together and go out run errands do a little shopping have some girls time so we went to h m and i got these heels how cute i love the strappy look and the heel is like the perfect height. Little block heel, not too high, so they should be pretty comfortable. And I feel like something like this is a staple and a good basic to have. And then I got a couple things from Target. I had just a few things I needed to restock on. Some liquid IV. This Nivea cream is amazing, staple, love this stuff. I slather this on my face every night before bed. I put it on my body. I just love it. It is so thick and nourishing. Oh, look at that stuff. Holy grail product. And then I got a body scrub and then I needed more deodorant. So I decided to try getting a men's deodorant. I've been obsessed with watching Taylor Wynn's videos and she uses Old Spice deodorant. Thought I would try it out. And this one's aluminum free. It's the Wilderness with Lavender scent and it smells nothing like lavender, but it does smell really good. And then I got this bra that I didn't need, but how freaking cute is it? And I was thinking this with a button up top a little bit unbuttoned so that you can see the bra sticking out a little bit. Tucked into some denim shorts or jeans with like a bunch of layered necklaces. It's from the Auden brand at Target. So yeah, that's my little haul. I'm gonna go put this stuff away. This is how I was envisioning the bra. Obviously, you know, the shirt would be buttoned up a little bit, like up to here, and then with jeans, so cute. You can kind of see your nipple through it a little bit it is pretty sheer but so pretty and look how cute the shoes look they're so cute and they're super comfortable they're like the perfect height i love the square toe something about it i just think is like really flattering love you need these get them immediately i'll put a link in the description Oh my god, I'm very happy that I got these. Oh, I just hit record, and I feel like in the viewfinder, it looks like I've been crying. My allergies are just kind of acting up, and I just sneezed like six times in a row. But I'm fine. I'm not crying, I promise. Um, I have been sitting here editing this vlog, and it's actually a lot longer than I realized it was. So I am just going to wash my face and get ready for bed. It's already 9 p.m., so... <laughs> This day is over for me, and I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. Like I said, my friend Julia is coming to visit in a couple of days. She's staying for the weekend, so I'm definitely going to vlog while she's here, and I'm very, very excited. So stay tuned for another vlog very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.